Hey, what's going on, weed smokers? Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about how sativas, you know, kind of like have a stigma with them. Like, I've been talking to a lot of people about cannabis lately and about indicas and sativas, hybrids, and whatnot. It's been brought to my attention that people are actually scared to smoke sativa strains. I mean, that's kind of weird. I actually know, um, I've heard of this stigma. I mean, even like years ago, people had this like idea that like sativas are like, you know, just like this like off like a uh, brand cannabis that's going to like put you into like some type of trip or I don't know, man. But there is a stigma with sativas and it's real, man. And it's stupid. I, I truly think it's stupid. I think that the differences between indica and sativas are not as big as they make it out to be. I know that there's a difference between indica and sativa. I know scientifically there's a difference in how they grow and differences in how they may make you feel. But come on, man. Like, we got all this technology at our disposal now. Like, it's not just about indica, sativa, THC levels. It's more about, like, the entourage effect and how the, cannibal, uh, the cannabinoids and terpenes and the THC all kind of, like, work together to form your high. That's why all different strains are specific. And you could smoke one strain and it'll make you feel differently than if you smoked another strain. And I know that... Um, the indica and sativa thing, it's real. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not coming out and saying that I don't believe that there's any truth to indica and sativa differences. I, I know that there's a difference, It's that's common knowledge. But what I'm saying is, I think that the, the stigma that's really put on it isn't as big as they make it out to be. Like, for instance, indicas, the first thing people think of when they hear indica is sleep, tired, couch lock, you know, lazy, munchies, stuff like that. Because that's the stigma that comes with indicas, that you're going to get couch lock. It's going to make you tired. It's going to make you lazy. It's a stronger nighttime type of strain. That's what you're going to hear. If you go to the dispensary and they got a 100% indica, which is super rare, but if they got a 100% indica or a hybrid leaning indica, that's what you're going to hear. Oh, yeah, this is a, this is a, this is like an indica leaning hybrid. This is like a nighttime strain. This is going to get you tired, help you sleep, blah, blah, blah. That's how I feel about it, man. I think that the stigma that's associated with this is just, it's too much, man. I mean, so like, like, so what are you trying to say? That like, you'll never, ever get couch lock off of a sativa? Or you'll never smoke a sativa and it will never get you tired? Is that what you're saying? I mean, come on, man. Like, that is total BS. I think that there's so much more that goes into how the cannabinoids and terpenes and how the cannabis gets you high and how it locks to your receptors and the myrcene and there's so much different stuff going on inside of the cannabis plant that we don't even know about yet and uh, we're stuck on this indica sativa thing and like dude like people all the time I hear people say oh I can't smoke sativas I can't smoke sativas what do you mean what do you mean you can't smoke sativas like I, why not like, I, I don't understand, like, what, you think that because it's a sativa or because it's a 60-40 uh, split leaning sativa, the, this plant's going to make you freak out or it's gonna you're going to have a bad reaction? I don't know. But that's what I'm saying when I'm talking about the stigma that comes with sativas. And just the whole thing with indicas and sativas, and people are making, like, a really, really big deal about it. And, um... I just think that a lot of it is false and a lot of it is in people's heads, man. And um, also, like, it's like the placebo effect. Like, if you hear over and over again that something is going to have a certain effect on you, then you start to believe it, you know what I'm saying, in your head. And uh, it messes with you, dude. And then all of a sudden, 
you're going to the dispensary, you're scared to death to smoke sativas, and, uh, you know, if your strain got 10% sativa, you bug out, and you're making that shit up now. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So let me know what you guys think. If you think that the stigma that comes with sativa strains is real, or you do, you know, is it basically far-fetched like I'm trying to explain? Because... I've been smoking weed for years, I used to be like that, I used to always try to get sativas and indicas and, you know, separate them and only smoke indicas at night, and I used to do that, now I, I just, I stopped doing that, man, I'll smoke a sativa right before bed and fall asleep like a baby, I'll smoke a indica as soon as I wake up, and maybe I'll get creative, who knows, there's more to it, guys, there's more to it, there's more to it from just a, just a, point of view from a from a smoker and scientifically there's more to it if you look into the entourage effect and how cannabinoids and terpenes and cbd and all the different stuff within the cannabis plant interact together to make your high the way it is per strain and all that stuff so um that's all I got for you guys, man. Just want to do a little short video on how I feel about the uh, sativa hype and how people act when it comes down to sativas and they're scared to smoke them and all that weird, you know, that weird stuff, man. And uh, I want to know what everybody thinks. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if uh, you do. I just uh, made a really good video on how people on the internet are doing these videos taking big crazy amounts of edibles like i just watched a video the other day that this dude took a uh, 1250 milligram uh edible in one shot a nerds rope and uh i just think that's funny man like that's just that's a lot of cannabis to take at once if you want to check out the video uh it's right up here it's a good video guys hit me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, have a great day guys peace out